Hello guys, thanks for watching. Adrian here from Mercedes. So in this uh, video, I will say a few words about the latest features added to uh, Datable Django, which is quite a popular open source starter provided by us. So in this, uh, in the latest version, the product uh, now comes with uh, some some new things like uh, dynamic services for the for data tables and also the when the API is automatically generated. Just uh, just as a sample, if we go here to the to the home application and open up the um, models file, we can see here a, a simple definition uh, of a model name product. So basically, this information is uh, is managed automatically by the by these uh, two libraries, which are both uh, both are open source. So uh, the same information saved in the product uh, table can be uh, easily managed through this uh, data table uh, dynamic data table library, which provides a paginated uh, view over the over the information, and at the same time uh, the same information is available through this uh, generated API. In order to uh, to showcase the how it works, all those features, uh, I will deploy the product on on render. Um, for those that are new to our products, um, all our uh, starters are uh, deployable on render through um, with using a continuous integration container deployment flow. And um, also the UI used in, in the starter comes as a, as a library and also can be used in any Django project uh, in your legacy. But uh, for this demonstration, I will um, limit the presentation to the dynamic services built and uh, uh, shipped in the, in this uh, latest version of the of the product, and uh, we can discuss further in other videos uh, regarding the UI. Okay, I will uh, just copy the URL, uh, head to my uh, render dashboard, create a new blueprint here. For newcomers, uh, Render is a, it's a deployment platform used by AppSeed for all the deployment automations. Uh, they, they provide a decent pricing and uh, also many, many things that um, helps you to, to go live with the product in many languages like Python, Go, uh, React and Node.js you know, with, uh, with less effort. Okay, let's create a new blueprint. Now, once the blueprint is created, basically the the repository is linked to to render, and all our changes will be automatically reflected in the live deployment. But um, this uh, this deployment be, being the first one, we need to wait a little bit to uh, compile and build uh, all the all the packages. We can check out the the build log here in this window. Another small but useful feature that comes in this version is the um, is the automatic discovery for all models defined here in uh, in this application. That uh, in case you define the new model here, um, that that model will be automatically registered in the um, in the admin section because um, we have this uh, small code snippet which scans the home application for models and the, the model is automatically registered in the admin section. Uh, this uh, might be useful to win some time in case you want to register, in case you have many uh, models defined in, the, in some application and you don't want to register one by one. So this code snippet will automatically register the, all the models for a certain uh, application for uh, to be discovered in the admin section let's go back to the to the render deployment and check out the progress okay so the deployment is flagged as uh, as being successful uh, let's access the the product so we have basically this is the uh, the main dashboard it's uh, is just a um, uh, a page that comes from the from the design and we have here two two links the first one is dynamic data tables which uh, generates automatically um, 
uh, an interface, uh, paginated interface over the products table. I didn't code anything. Uh, nothing is hard coded. So basically, the library knows how to uh, extract the information from the model and build this uh, UI automatically. Uh, another thing is the generated UI, uh, generated API. So uh, the same information uh, uh, is uh, manageable here in the in this uh, under this URL. And of course, we can add, delete, or update uh, records. But uh, in this um, in this demonstration, I will use also only the uh, dynamic data table feature to manage the information. Okay, let's add some uh, some information. If we refresh the the API node, we have here the the new row, the new record. Uh, let's add a new one. If we try to add here a, a price that is not numeric, the application will inform us that we need to to input a number, and uh, I will do so. Now we have to 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 records. If we refresh the API, we can see here all the all the records. We have also uh, a filter. Another thing that comes in uh, in this library is the server side pagination. In case you have large amounts of information, let's say one or two million rows, the application will uh, the response time should be constant because. Um, uh, the information is automatically paginated and uh, the classic data tables views just pull all the information in the page and once you have more than 10,000 rows or uh, I don't know or many many rows 1 million uh, the browser width is getting slower and uh, uh, is not is not a good approach in this case the data table library knows how to paginate the information uh, server side so uh, the response time should be super super fast Okay, let's uh, update the information here. As I said, uh, as I said before, uh, now the the repository is linked to the render platform using the continuous integration, continuous deployment flow. So this uh, this means that if we update the code, uh, the changes are automatically the product is is automatically redeployed, and uh, the new changes should be uh, available in the live live deployment. Let's edit the file right here on um, on, uh, on GitHub, and I will uh, add a new new field description. Let's say okay. Let's two hundred and fifty. If we go back here to the the dashboard we can see here that a new deploy was triggered and um, the, the new deploy is, um, is flagged as being triggered by this commit which is the, the update on the models file let's uh, check out the progress so in the same way we um, anyone can add uh, uh, other models uh, update the product models and um, the, the the generators will work and provide the new the new code automatically without coding manually uh, only the only the settings part needs to be updated in case you add a new model but in the rest the, the functional code that manages the information in the dynamic uh, data table part and also in the api uh, uh, it's 100 uh, percent generated so uh, now the build is the new build is successful, and uh, soon we should be able to access the service in the browser. Okay, I think it's already done. We need to, to wait to, to have this uh, green flag 
that informs us uh, about the um, about the deployment uh, deployment status. Okay, now the the information um, is is wiped from the product, and uh, we need to add again the the, um, the records. This happens because uh, in this uh, in this deployment I was using the SQLite uh, database version and uh, at each deploy the information is flushed but uh, you can easily connect to a more persistent MySQL server and uh, the information remains there um, after consecutive deploys. Okay, let's create a new row using the data tables Like a rate. So we, we can see here it's the new field is automatically added. I didn't code anything, so I will just put some dumb information uh, and create a new one. Sixty-nine. Okay, now we have two rows if we go here to the uh, to the API, we can see that the new fields are there, and uh, the information uh, was dynamically updated without uh, without coding anything. So, guys, this is the product. Uh, it's open source. Feel free to check out the the code um, in case anyone needs support uh, or something is missing from the documentation. Just uh, go to AppSeed. We have here this support link uh, on. Uh, on top of the home page and uh, chat with us on discord or, or simply send us an email uh, the product as i said is open source the libraries used to generate dynamically the information are also open source and can be used in any django application and uh, feel free to suggest improvements and uh, also in case anyone needs support um, just um, uh, contact us through the official uh, official channels uh, thanks again for watching um, and uh, I wish you all as always a super super day. Bye guys.